Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to reset an inherited um, constructor property. When an object inherits its prototype from another object, it also inherits the supertype's constructor property. Here's an example. We create a bird constructor. Bird prototype is, we, cr we create the prototype a un under the animal prototype. So we add, we make bird a subtype of the supertype of animal. And then we say let duck equal a new bird. Duck.constructor is equal to a function of animal. Um, but duck and all instances of bird should show that they were constructed by bird and not animal. To do so, you can manually set bird's constructor property to the bird object. Bird.prototype.constructor is equal to bird. Duck.constructor is equal to the function of bird. So we want to fix the code so that the duck.constructor and beagle.constructor return their respective constructors. So right now, if we were to console.log uh, duck.constructor, here we'd have it be a function of animal. And what this is saying, what it wants us to be, is instead of this being animal, we want they want that to be bird. So let's do it also with uh, the beagle. Because though this is animal right now, we want this to be dog. And so how do we do that? <clears throat> We just need to set the prototype to um, the right position. So what we want to say is uh, bird dot prototype dot constructor is equal to bird. And now we'll see that instead of um, duck dot constructor being equal to animal, it's now bird. And we're just going to do the same thing with dog. Now this, <clears throat> this might seem a bit tedious and senseless right now, but as you grow longer into this, this sort of prototype, prototypical inheritance and understanding the core of this is really important. So I would encourage you um, to really um, internalize this, that you can set the constructor explicitly later on, and that's something that's worthwhile doing. Um, so yeah, we run the test. I think this will pass. Uh, anyways, yeah, we'll keep going. This object-oriented um, programming is super useful, and understanding this stuff is really valuable. So I would encourage you to really take another look at this if that was a little bit confusing. And thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video.